All right, Randy, the solo go-ahead home run. What'd you see from that pitch that you like to go oppo and get your 17th home run of the season? Sacaste ese home run. ¿Qué estabas mirando ahí en ese turno en el plato? No, fui a hacer un buen contacto. No, los dos primeros picheos fui por ellos, pero no me decidí a tirarle. Solo después quise hacer un buen contacto con dos extras y gracias a Dios salió el home run. I was just trying to make good contact. The first two pitches I swung and I didn't make good contact, and so I was just trying to stay focused a little bit more and get make good contact on that pitch. Okay, you got to show us and tell us about all those celebrations you were doing. You were going like this, and then you were going like this. What does that mean? Que son todas las celebraciones que tú tienes. No, que hay muchos ojos que te están mirando y a veces hay mucha energía negativa, entonces hay que sacudirse para todo lo malo. Uh, everyone's watching, so everyone is thinking a lot of negative, so you got to just brush away all the all the bad stuff. How about that bullpen shutting the door on the Angels and, and coming in and throwing up zeros like that? El bullpen entró y no, nada, nada de carreras. ¿Qué puedes decir del bullpen de nosotros? No, todo el mundo ha puesto su, su granito de arena. El bullpen se comportó bien hoy. Eh, lo, el relevo... Hizo su trabajo, ganamos y estamos muy contentos. Yeah, everyone puts in their grain of sand. The bullpen came in. They did a good job. Everyone came in and did what they had to do for the win. You're in that postseason hunt trying to move up in those standings. Is this team vibing right now the way you want it to? Estamos buscando para clasificar. ¿Estamos bien en el equipo? Sí, sí. Estamos motivados. Estamos en el camino. Estamos dentro en el playoff. Falta mucho, mucho juego todavía. Esperemos seguir así. Y nada, el playoff empieza de cero. Esperemos clasificar y por ahora hay que disfrutar y seguir jugando como estamos jugando. Yeah, we just keep on playing. We still have a long way to go for the rest of the season. Uh, we just got to hope uh, that that provides motivation for us, um, and we just have to keep on going and playing hard. It's David Peralta throwing some tape at you there. He also had a great game. Randy, thanks so much for the time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Guys? All right, Kevin, we'll start with the pitching in this one from Jeffrey Springs to Jason Adam to Jalen Beeks to Sean Armstrong shutting the door. What was so impressive about their performances? Just the way they executed in pretty dominant fashion. I think we picked up a bunch of strikeouts. Uh, J JD was a, a highlight and certainly Armstrong to come in and get the save. He hasn't been in that role very often, but JB to get the pinch hitter with Otani and then the follow up next inning with the top of their order was, was really big. I was going to say for Jalen there, what was key getting that strike out of Otani with, with he got one? It, he got ahead of him. I think that helped a lot. He got ahead and then that last pitch he threw, I'm not sure as good as he is. I don't know anybody that can hit that pitch the way it kind of darted out of the zone. And then offensively, just seeing Randy go yard and David Peralta also have a good day. Yeah. David, David uh, he had really good at bats against a tough lefty, stayed on, picked us up. You know, that could have been a really frustrating. We get the guys on, and then we roll into double play. Uh, but he, he picked us up with the first run, and then Randy, uh, he's been swinging the bat really well as of late. It's, it's awesome to see. You mentioned a couple times about Randy could get hot. That could have a big impact for him. I think that's five homers in 12 games. Does that qualify? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Now, if we can get the guys in front of them, they don't have to get hot, just get on base. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. You are, I assume you are pleased with his, some of his at-bats and some of the things he's been doing. Yeah, and he, he's really had his the quality of his at-bat. It certainly feels like it has improved. They're, they've been, He's been pitch tough. They, he's kind of linked them out with foul balls, kind of hanging in there, fighting pitches off. And then when he gets a pitch he can handle, he's obviously showing the ability to do some damage. Talked about Wall's defense plenty of that third inning, the back to back plays he made. Just yeah. Impressive. Uh, there. Yeah, that play right over uh, Springs' head. I mean, you, <laughs> I don't know how many people in this game can do that. Uh, and then with, you know, just having the clock and the awareness with, with Trout, I, I think Walsey might have thought he caught the ball. I'm not sure if he did or not, but to get up there, not assume anything, and flip the ball over. Um, if he tries to get on his feet, no doubt Trout beats it out. You mentioned Armstrong, your comfort with him in that situation. How have you seen him kind of improve? In, um, in I think we've seen the confidence really spike, uh, and it should because he's thrown the ball really well for us. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what his numbers were before he got here, but uh, right when he got here, it felt like you know he was in a little bit of a rut, giving up a run here or there. And stuff was good, but luck wasn't going his way. seems like now he, his stuff is really good, and he's pitching with a lot of confidence. Well, it's confidence on your end, too, to feel to use him in the ninth like that. You had other options if you needed them. But. Yeah, I mean, look, I got we, we got a lot of confidence in all those guys down there, and I think that's what makes us good is that uh, the bullpen is built with, even with guys being out with injuries, uh, the guys that come in and fill those roles um, or f in for those injured players can get the job done he did today. And Pete, having gone through this in row was not an option anyway, right? Well, he might have been. <laughs> Frankie had a pretty good block in that Otani sequence. Oh my too. gosh, yeah, Frankie had a really good day. And it was big that 
you know, he, he's a big part of these these low scoring games that, that he's putting right the right fingers down and certainly um, making pitches pitchers feel comfortable with being able to throw the ball anywhere. All right, Jalen, a big moment there late in the game, the strikeout of Otani with two on. What was key in that situation? I'm um, just going to my strengths with lefties, which is just change up. Uh, I was just going to um, throw that until he got out. You know, that was kind of my plan. The last time I faced him, I threw a slider, and he hit it over left center wall in L.A., so I wasn't going to do that again. Um, so, you know, just stick to my strengths, I guess. Not try to trick him, just stick to what I do best. I believe Mejia had a crucial block in that A-B. I mean, just how impressive and crucial was that? Yeah, I, I feel like he's so good that we get used to it. Um, you know, it's just really, I, I feel like I could throw the ball anywhere in front of the plate um, and not waste a pitch, but I just ripped it. And I felt really comfortable with him back there, uh, which is, you know, something I remember that a lot of guys don't have, uh, even in the big league. So uh, Frankie's just an awesome catcher, and we're lucky to have him. Yeah, this bullpen's had to work a lot in a lot of really tight, close situations. Just what do you think of the job the group as a whole has done, especially here lately, just getting the outs that you need in pretty much whatever situation asked of you? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're pretty uh, low-key bullpen, uh, but, I mean, we just we just kind of go out and do our jobs and uh, stick to one pitch at a time. I know it's just cliche, but uh, I think that's what we do really well, and we just go out and execute and see what happens. Randy's getting hot at the right time. Does it look that way? It looks that way. I mean, that's, that's as good a time as any. You know, late August, we're trying to push, uh, you know, try to catch the Yankees if we can. So, uh, yeah, he's been playing great. Um, and, you know, another guy we're lucky to have. Feel for Sean Armstrong getting his first save of the year tonight too. Yeah, I mean that was awesome. I mean he was just throwing gas and he just looked great. Uh, really happy for him. Um, he's a guy that I feel like hadn't got a whole lot of a lot of credit. Uh, he's pitched really well this year, and I'm really happy for him that he got to get in there in a big opportunity like that. All right, Jeffrey, just one run for you against the Angels. Take us through how you felt today. Uh, I felt pretty good overall. Um, you know, there's a lot of good takeaways. Um, three walks, kind of. That one stings a little bit as lingering. I got to do a better job of um, going right at them. You know, I, that can't happen, especially the, to the lefty, to Suzuki there to end the outing in the sixth. Uh, that's frustrating, but overall, um, you know, was able to keep us in the game and, you know, turn it over to the bullpen uh, with the lead. You know, the offense came through. Randy came through big with the big homer. Um, overall, felt pretty good. So, what about- no, you're good. I'm done. <laughs> what about Taylor Walls there? He had an incredible, incredible back-to-back plays in one motion. He kind of made that pick up and threw it to first. <laughs> and you kind of went, wow. I mean, what was your reaction? I mean, it's kind of expected now, it seems like, because he's done it so much. But um, I just need to get out of the way and not even try for it there to begin <laughs> with. But, uh, I mean, he's he's unbelievable. Um I mean, the way that he goes and gets the ball in the hole, the, you know, the bloops over his head, that right there, it's, I mean, he's a future gold glover. I mean, it's day in and day out, the plays he makes, the consistency, the range he has. I mean, it's, it really is unbelievable. What about that bullpen going in there, Jalen Beeks getting out of a big spot, Jason Adam and Sean Armstrong in a role he's not necessarily totally used to? Yeah, I mean, I've said it before. If we, we can hand the ball off to those guys with the lead, then they're, they're probably going to shut it down more times than not. I mean, everybody down there is unbelievable. Um, you know, Beach coming in, facing Otani off the bench, and big punch out there to really keep the momentum on our side. Uh, Jason Adams doing what he's been doing all year, just, I mean, unbelievable the way he can make the ball move, the way he makes hitters look silly at times. And then Army coming in, you know, like I've said, it's whoever's down there, whatever role, closing games out, big spots, it's they're going to get the job done. I mean, they've been doing it all year. They've, it's, it's amazing how good they are. Is it any more frustrating than anything? A couple of blue kids. I think that one ball hit off Trout's bat twice, maybe, before it even gets to the outfield. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, got in a jam. You know, obviously, he's one of the best, if not the best hitters in the game. And I felt like I made the pitch I wanted to make. Um, you know, he, he doesn't swing and miss very much. So, uh, yeah, was able to hit it. I didn't realize he hit it twice till I came in. But uh, just able to put it in the spot that we weren't. And, um, you know, I had to talk to him for getting to it. But, uh, yeah, a little frustrating. I wanted to. I felt like I made my pitch and was going to get out of it, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. For your time out there tonight, what worked best for you? What could you depend on? Um, just moving the ball around. You know, I was able to, you know, throw heaters up. I felt like I was able to, you know, the change up at times and then the breaking ball um, into right-handers and away from left-handers, just trying to continue sticking to my strengths and, you know, moving the ball around in those areas.